Hello, online pipe community. Today I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to do a couple of racks of ribs in a vertical smoker. Uh, I happen to have a medium sized one from Pit Barrel Cooker Company. And I'm gonna show you, oh, like I said, just how dead simple it is to get a couple of perfect racks of ribs. Back in a moment. Well, here's the pit barrel cooker. This is the medium size. They have a smaller one, they have a larger one. And I have filled the tray with charcoal. And now I have also removed the amount of charcoal that I need in my starter. Let's get over to the old grill and I'll show you that real quick. Here you see the most common use of my Weber kettle right now, which is to light charcoal for my vertical smoker. Uh, this is the uh, chimney starter that you can buy from the Pit Barrel Cooker Company that supposedly holds the exact right amount of charcoal to start your cooker. Uh, started it, coiled up the paper underneath. Uh, it takes about 40 briquettes to fill this, so you're pulling 40 briquettes out of the other tray, not adding 40 briquettes to it. That's actually an important distinction for temperature control. Now let's go inside and take a look at how the meat has been prepared. I have rubbed one side of each rib uh, right now with a, a game and beef rub that I like on them. And you can see I have put a hook to hang these about two ribs down from the thick side of the ribs. The, the side that's thicker is often the side that is narrower, but the, the meat is thicker and I put it two ribs down and we will hang by those. I will. Uh, we got a little bit of uh, a little bit of background tracking from uh, little Gene there. Uh, he is apparently happy. Um, he likes ribs too. So we're gonna flip those over and season the other side in just a bit. Back in a little. Looks like the coals are ashed over well. Let's grab them and get them into the smoker. See, I put the charcoal down at the bottom and this just gets dumped straight in on top. I don't bother mixing them around. That, uh, that will slowly ignite the charcoal on the bottom and keep this nice and hot for a few hours. Let's get some meat hanging. All right, now the first thing we have to do is uh, slip the rods back into the smoker. So we're gonna hang our ribs from. And then we will grab a rack of ribs. Whew, looky, looky, looky. And hang that right there. Now I'm going to hang both of these on one side because grab that other rack. Hopefully you don't get too seasick there. Uh, because I am also the last part of this going to put uh, I'm going to hang some chicken and uh, smoke some chicken and it doesn't take as long as those ribs do. So let's get this covered up and we'll check back in about three hours. Now comes the hardest part of smoking ribs on a vertical smoker, and that is having the patience to just sit inside and enjoy a pipe while the meat does its thing in the smoke. We'll go check it in a couple hours. Been right at three hours. Let's take a look at these ribs. Oh yeah, those are ready to be pulled off and basted with sauce. Whew, look at that. Those look fantastic. We will close this back up. 
let that fire die back down a little. Let's go baste them. Now you can make your own barbecue sauce. I use a commercial. Uh, this is uh, Baby Ray's, and I am just gonna paint these with that sauce, just to give them a little bit of a glaze. And they will go back on for about 30 minutes. Mm -mm -mm. We'll get the other side and the other rib and we'll be back to you in a little while. Promised you we'd put some chicken on along with those. These are just seasoned with something like uh, Mrs. Dash's or something, but we'll uh, slide those onto the other side. We'll easily get four of those right in there hanging along. Those only take about half an hour, so they'll be done just shortly after the ribs are. We'll take a look then. Well, your boneheaded smoking guide forgot Saturday night to videotape pulling the ribs out of the smoker so that you could see what they looked like. I did, however, get a shot of them plated. Here we go. So they look really good and they tasted really good and they were really, really easy. So if you guys are interested in learning to smoke ribs with the baby chattering in the background, it's super simple with a vertical smoker. Give it a shot, enjoy.